Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Wonderful Every Day. In the last episode, we had a very wholesome stargazing uh, chapter, and that's all that happened. It was just stargazing. Nothing else happened, I can promise you that. If you think I'm lying, you can check out the previous episode if you have not seen it. But I believe we are now on the next day, uh, just because it's saying that they're greeting the morning of the 20th day of the month, which I think is significant because Zakuro said that she's leaving uh, for whatever reason. I don't remember that much. I really got to record more of this. <laughs> I've got way too large of gaps. But let us continue on and see what's going to happen. Oh, nothing's happening. Cool. Oh, no, it's just... <laughs> I, I guess it's the next chapter, all right. Or not next chapter, it's telling us it's the next day. Uh, whatever. I looked away from the display and returned my eyes to Takashima-san. はい。あっちで落ち着いたらご連絡します。うん。連絡ちょうだいね。はい。あそこは遠いですけどね。遠いって別に同じ空の下なんだからさ、どんな遠いって言ったってさ。それ行ったら世界中のどこだってそうじゃないですか。たく、雪は極端なんだから。そうそう。雪は極端さんだね。今日までありがとうございました。本当に楽しかったです。いえいえ、こちらこそ高島さんのおかげでいろいろなことが体
I think that her lips formed the words, was happy. The train stopped. The doors opened behind me. Yeah, trains do that. <laughs> I actually have no idea. She finished her statement. I was just clicking like an idiot. My bad. Takashima-san laughed. The train doors closed. The train shook, and then it started to move. Zakuro ch uh, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> Zakuro-chan's hand waved in the air. It only lasted a moment. A very, very long moment. Of course you did. また高島さんの手紙読んでたんだ。あ、うん。面白い人だったね。そうね。面白い人だった。彼女のおかげで私は勇気を手に入れることできたしね。<laughs> An unchanging day to day. Unchanging scenery. It was like the world was just a container made of inorganic matter, matter excuse me. Our lives gradually changed in both good ways and bad. I got a girlfriend. It might sound strange to say I got a girlfriend even though I'm a girl myself, but still, I was pretty happy about it. <laughs> How sweet. Happy days. Something inside me had been filled. And that's the kind of world I live in now. Okay, so... My, uh, my levels of confusion have risen. I know that we're not done. I know we can't be done. I'm pretty sure this was like the first chapter that I've been seeing in comments and in the reviews of the game and stuff like that. Don't worry guys, I haven't been in spoiler or anything. I just, I think this is, um, I think this is as far as the Steam version goes actually. Um, I was kind of confused when people were saying like, oh man, this game on Steam, you know, can't even go past the first chapter or some shit like that. So I don't really know why it doesn't, and I don't know what's beyond the first chapter, but there's obviously a lot of uh, um, foreshadowing towards things that we don't currently know, thanks to good old Zakuro. And I think we need to do the other two routes here. Basically, you know, choose the other two characters instead of uh, uh, Tsukasa, and then we may be able to continue in some sort of direction. I want to say that's the direction this would go in. I, I I have no idea. But someone did comment saying that we should be able to knock out another route here in this episode, so I think that'll be the goal, uh, if anything. Doesn't seem like there's too much to do, and we'll just be seeing really what else happens with the other characters, if anything else. And... I don't know, we have that little scene where we're looking for a telescope, though we never find it. We never found the goddamn telescope in the last episode. That was that was annoying. I really wanted to look at the stars. And I pretty much just contradicted my statement that I brought up in the beginning of the episode, saying that nothing else happened but stargazing, but you guys know I was just joking. Uh, so I can't really, you know, reflect on the game, because I'm pretty sure we're not 
done with the game. I'm pretty sure this is one of those uh, weird Japanese style, oh yeah, this is an ending, but there's 50 hours more to go, and I know Nier is the game that I've been playing recently, or have played recently, that is just like that. This shit's annoying as hell. Nier Automata, the original Nier, <laughs> they both did that, and I want to say that's that's a very common method. I at least want the the credits to go by at least once, and then uh, we'll we'll jump on in. So I, I I don't really know what to say here. We're not done. I'm pretty sure. If what I believe is correct, we're still in the first chapter. Then there's nothing to reflect on. Just you know that there's a lot of things we don't know. Zakado has been. Uh, Pretty much every sentence that she splooze, splooges out is a riddle. Uh, a riddle that probably has something connected to it. And... I, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like this might go in like a Steins Gate direction where there's like other worlds or other world... Like timelines or something like that. You know, there's other events that are happening. And I want to say Zakado is connected to that. She actually knows or something like that. I don't know. It's just a guess. It's a, probably a really bad guess, but... Gotta start somewhere, I guess. Now, but hopefully you guys are enjoying the uh, the playthrough so far. I just woke up, actually. Like an hour ago. So, if I sound a little groggy, I'm sorry. It is noon, by the way. I'm, I'm really enjoying my, uh, my last few days of summer break before I go into university. And then recording this is going to be fun, along with all the other uh, things that I record. Trying to find time for that's going to be fun, but I think all will be well. This was Front Wing, huh? I guess this was Front Wing before they got bad. I'm playing uh, Phantom Trigger, or, you know, I've been keeping up with it, and wow, that, that shit sucks. And I haven't really heard too many great things about the other things they're throwing out there. I would say good old front wing, but I don't think they're good anymore. <laughs> Which kind of sucks, because you hear about them a lot. They're 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 up there, but I, I guess not anymore. Maybe I'm just you know speaking nonsense. I don't know what I'm saying, because I don't understand the medium as well as others. It's probably the case. Do we have an epilogue here or? Nope. Nope, we just... We went back to the scene there for a second, I guess. Okay, I guess that's it. Uh, now now we just gotta go back through and get the others, I suppose. Um, we have an extras menu, which is nice. A scene recollection and a CG gallery. I don't feel like censoring anything, because I can already guess what's gonna pop up in the CG gallery. Uh, well, I will see you guys in just a few minutes uh, with this nice jump cut. Well, I guess fuck my life, I'm gonna have to censor things anyway, because we have to choose either one, two, or three, and we chose two last time. So I guess we'll go with good old uh, number three, because why not? So who do we get for that? Who will number three be? I knew it. I kind of knew it. It wouldn't... I don't know, it didn't feel right with me that it would be uh, Kagami for number three. <laughs> Oh, that's right. We're, we're, we're kissing here. I closed my eyes. But there was no need. She just gave me a kiss on the cheek? Huh? There was nothing else to that? Yes. Holy shit, are we going the mellow route? Alright. はい。私が悪いのですが、少々悪ふざけしすぎました。なんかこれ以上やっていると、もっともっとエスカレートして大変なことになってしまいそうなので。確かに服脱いでたらだんだん酔いも冷めてきたけど、やりすぎだったかも
そうですねそろそろ遅いですしね Takashima-san started putting her clothes back on. なんかみんなで突き進むと怖いね。暴走しちゃったかも。Yeah, you guys did. まあ、確かに悪ふざけでちゃんとしたキスとかしていいもんじゃないからね。Kagami started getting dressed too. I couldn't believe the king game ended with everyone but me completely naked. But I was glad it didn't go any further than that. I was relieved at that, if nothing else. Interesting. Very interesting. So, what, what will this be? Is it gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be the same. Okay. I, I remember this. Okay, so I guess I could just skip forward. Oh, I guess we have new dialogue here.、Uh, what's going on? Hi. Okay, so. So they were at the,、uh, at that amusement park, or whatever, the, the one that Yuki called garbage. Oh, hell yeah. さあよくわかりませんけど珍しい見せ物じゃありませんかお化け屋敷じゃなくて幽霊部屋なんて名前も不気味ですしそうだね見てみようかはい Yeah this definitely is different The building had a, had a bizarre structure That was, one of the, that was the one thing that made me uncomfortable. Other than that, it looked like an ordinary attraction. It was one of those attractions where you ride around in a gondola. I couldn't tell if the rails rusted or what, but they were making an unpleasant noise. We sat in the gondola and looked at various worlds that passed us by, each of which had been neatly demar demarketed from the last. At first, we were surrounded by never ending darkness. It felt like we were rising and falling, or even moving from side to side sometimes. But we couldn't really tell for sure what was happening in the dark. Well, this is some weird shit. だいたい客も店員もいません本当に誰もいないね照明も薄暗くて少し怖いこれで何か出てきたら驚くかもしれない The gondola slowly passed through the deserted store I was expecting someone dressed up like a ghost to pop out at any moment but nothing happened The thin layer of dust on all the shelves was a bit eerie <laughs> 一つくらいお菓子もらっていこうかなダメですよそんなのご自由にお取りくださいなんてどこにも書いてありませんよでも防犯カメラの電源入ってないよあのそういう問題では I grabbed a bag of potato chips from a, here, a nearby shelf excuse me the expiration date was July 20th 1999はあ何このヴィンテージ It was starting to make sense. The scenery ju didn't just look old, it really was old. What the heck was the designer thinking when he made this ride? A deserted store. It definitely wasn't creepy, but as an attraction in an amusement park, it was kind of lacking. The rusty rails squeaked as the gondola turned toward a door behind the register. I looked at the register. Something was scribbled on a piece of paper there. Just one sentence. Title of this piece Convenience Store End. The gondola skirted the wall and entered a staircase. We watched the convenience store recede below us as we ascended. 
the gondola went up the, the endless stairs. I was a bit surprised that it could go up the steps. It was quite the agile machine. The staircase that we thought was about to end doubled back in the opposite direction, and after we passed that... Interesting. This is a very strange ride. Up or down we go. It moved steadily through the concrete hallway. That was a barren, lifeless hallway, and there was no telling where it would lead. The windows of the once modern hallway had at some point changed into the decrepit windows of a condemned apartment. I had thought that we were still in the hallway, but maybe the gondola turned into one of those rooms, or one of the rooms without either of us noticing. There was an engraved plate on the table. Title of this piece, Living Room End. The sound of grinding rust filled the room as the gondola advanced forward. The entire scene felt kind of surreal, or rather downright eerie. The calendar and clock were both stopped at the same point. It's 1999, pretty significant, along with the month. What was up with that date? It must have been the date when this attraction was made. We left the living room and emerged into another staircase, except this time it was a small set of stairs like in someone's house. It was really creepy. I think if I lived in a house like that, I'd want to kill myself. A plate was set upon the podium. The title of this piece, End of the Classroom. A convenience store, living room, and then a classroom. I see, so the designer was trying to bring out a feeling of unease. <clears throat> Excuse me. There was no one in all of these places where people should be, and the writers feel like intruders for being in places where they shouldn't be. And that first part, did I say should be or shouldn't be? Sorry, should... Both should and shouldn't were kind of like on top of each other. Again, I, I recently woke up. Give, give me a break, guys. なるほど。幽霊部屋ってそういうことか。どういうことですか? ひとが生活することによって成立する場所。その生活がそのまま抜け落ちた空間をこの辺でこのゴンドラで見ていく。切り離された人の生活。それを俯瞰したかのように見つめる視線。そう。私たちこそが幽霊役なんだと思う。お
Yeah, especially if we're the spirits. The gondola left the classroom and went out into the hallway. Just how big was this building? The gondola kept moving through the hallway. The rest was causing a high-pitched whine. The gondola advanced past the classroom and stopped. A bell rang behind us as a door closed. The gondola rotated around and... Up or down we go yet again. Oh god. Title of this piece, The Final Abode. Nevertheless, this was a hell of a design. The gondola started to move into the bed. The gondola went into the bed. What kind of structure did this ride have? The blue sky spread out above us. And when we looked down, there was another plate. Title of this piece, The End Sky. <laughs> A tremor ran up my spine, twisting my face into a jagged smile. Normally you were supposed to be scared when you were inside a haunted house, not when you left it. But for some reason this was different, or this one was different. It felt as if everything up to this point was a prelude. The creepy feeling from all the deserted places where people should have been and all the places where we had no right to be accumulated beneath the sky. Just like that, the gondola stopped. And it seemed like the ride should return to the beginning for the next person, but if this wasn't the end, it would be like the plate was lying. Not a bad idea. Really, who the heck would make a ride like that? I doubted there was any particular meaning to it, but still, it wasn't a very pleasant experience. Alright, so I guess now we're up to this point. So they stuck in. They stuck in that part. And it was very strange, but... I want to say there's some foreshadowing to it. I just want to feel... I, I want to say that there's like foreshadowing to everything that's going on here. Since we're still in the beginning. There's a lot we don't know. And that could be some information that would connect to the themes and stuff that will come up later on, maybe? I don't know, but... Thanks for watching, guys. I guess next time we'll finish up what Zakuro has for her quote-unquote route, and then we'll do Kagami, and then, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be ready for whatever this game has to throw at us next. So thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Take it easy.